Disneyland Paris will get a new theme park really soon, in like 12 years or so. But what else will the resort receive? Well, here are my ideas and plans for the future of the Disneyland Paris Resort. Let's start with what we already know. So, outside years leaked the images of the new Disney Village refurbishment that would see new facades on top of the original ones. Now, I personally like the original architecture of Festival Disney since it was designed by Frank freaking Gary. <laughs> but besides that, we also know that we are getting a new hotel here in the spot of the never built Las Vegas Hotel by Robert Venturi. Now, we know that all the resorts at Disneyland Paris have an American thing related to them. So, let's continue that and make this one themed around California. California. And of course, let's make it Spanish revival architecture. Let's start with the general layout of it. As you can see here, the lobby will be located on the south part here and unlike what you might expect, it will not not be big but rather small and simple in that adobe styles. The purpose of the lobby is for people to check in and have the first impression of the hotel, not the main gathering location of this hotel because that would be the entrance to Disney Village. As you walk further into the hotel, the spaces will get larger so you get an immersive feel. Moving on, there will be this small courtyard modeled after seminaries and then will be the main courtyard, similar to other Mission Revival hotels out there. Now, before I continue guys, please, come on, please subscribe, as I want to get 500 subscribers. Let's do that. Now, let's get to the stuff you guys want. That is the third gate, the new theme park. Now, you see, Disney Corporation has a deal with the French government since back in the days when Euro Disney was first being planned. And it says that Disneyland Paris will need to open a third park by 2036. That is why Walt Disney Studios Paris is so cheap, because it was built to open quickly and respect that contract. Though Disney has one more extension allowed for this contract for more 10 years. So basically this park needs to open by 2040, meaning that initial planning needs to be started by 2027. And let's not count the delays that will probably take 2 or 3 years. So let's plan this new park. now. These are my plans and I am no way affiliated with the Walt Disney Company, etc, etc. And these are not news or rumors. First, we will need a new value hotel which will be themed to Emeryville in California. California. It will be a Pixar themed hotel with areas like Toy Story and San Francisco from inside out. Now, what will the third gate be? Well, I have two ideas. First is an European Epcot and then a Disneyland Paris Sea Park. So let's start with the first idea, Paris Disney Sea Park. So let's start with the entrance, which will be Iberia, with architectures from cities like Lisboa, Porto, Toledo, Barcelona and more. And on the place of American waterfront will be Quebec, yes, we'll have a trackless dark ride here inside the castle of Quebec and the Empress of Montreal that will actually have a ride inside of it that I have no idea what could be. And it's pretty cool, I think. Now, crossing the bridge here, we will arrive at the Nordic territories, incorporating different parts of the North Pole, with a futuristic area like the cancelled Glacier Bay. We also have an India themed area with a jungle brook ride and we'll have an India boat ride as well and a clone of big grizzly mountain themed around the Himalayas. Now uh, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that this will be half park, half water park. Yes, there will be a Moana land with a Moana ride but as well a Moana water park inspired by the best scene in the movie. Now. 
let's move on to the other proposal, Epcot. Now, the problem here is that should we make all countries European or should we make all countries in the world but countries from Europe? Well, there are big arguments both ways, like Europa Park, for example, but there's also the counter argument that why would people go to Disneyland Paris just to see a fake matter? you know so i decided to go for the international version entering the park we'll see architecture inspired by Bauhaus and many other modernists and postmodernists like antoine Grubin. there will be one ride here sponsored by airbus of course yes how about a millennium falcon clone but it is a simulator like a real simulator dividing countries that we'll have will be canada mexico guatemala nicaragua and Costa Rica. These countries will all be connected instead of being separate like Epcot. And then we have Ecuador, Brazil, Senegal, Tunisia, India, China, Korea, Thailand, New Zealand and the French Polynesia, which is part of France, with a Moana ride. Right. But what do you guys want to see from this park as yes, you? Tell me in the comments below what do you want to see from the future of Disneyland Paris. And if you want to know about the future of the Walt Disney Studios Park, click on this video on the screen right now.